Practically every crofter keeps a beast or two, which he feeds over the winter and sells at the spring sales. He always has a fair number of fat beasts at the sales and usually commands fat prices. You want to get rid of him. I do. But instead of driving him away as I might have done, I mean instead of simply kicking him out on his ass, in the goodness of my heart I am bringing him to the fair, where I hope to get a good price for him. The truth is, you can't drive such creatures away. The best thing would be to kill them. Most of the beasts go to mainland buyers, who can fatten them further on better grazing than island crofters have, and then resell them at the huge sales in the lowlands. And now you turn them away, such an old unfaithful servant. Swine. After having sucked all the good out of them, you chuck them away like a, like a banana skin. Really. I can't bear it any longer. The way he goes on, you've no idea. It's terrible. I'm going mad. You must go. I can't bear it any longer. I can't bear it any longer. He's going mad. It's terrible. How dare you? It's abominable. Such a good master, crucify him like that after so many years, really. He used to be so kind, so helpful and entertaining, my good angel, and now he's killing me. A good stirk can sell for 150 to 200 pounds. It's part of our Gallic legend and mythology. It's the subject of our songs and emblem of our heroes. Gentlemen, I don't know what came over me. Forgive me. Forget all that I said. I don't remember exactly what it was, but you may be sure there wasn't a word of truth in it. Do I look like a man who could be made to suffer? Frankly. What have I done with my pipe? There is a saying in this part of the world that when God made time safe behind the majesty of the law, as long as there's a glisk of daylight, he made plenty of it.